10 Signs Someone Else Has Got Power Over Your Life When you succumb to someone and allow the gain power over you, it can be really draining on your mental health. Perhaps you have a coworker who just loves to spoil your day and put you in a bad mood. Or perhaps someone is criticizing you and it is damaging the way you see yourself and your self-image. If you are allowing someone to make you feel bad, then they have power over you. Anytime someone has a negative influence on you, this is happening. When someone has power over you, your mental health starts to suffer, and it is no longer possible to reach your potential. It is sometimes, but not always, obvious when you are giving up your power. An example of this would be when you do something you regret and lose your cool as the result of the actions of someone else. But there are also some more subtle ways that you are giving up your power. Here are 10 different ways that you may be giving away your own personal power without realizing it's happening. Before we get to any of that, please make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a new video since that's by far the best way to support the channel. Now that that's out of the way, let's roll the tape. Number one, you cave into guilt trips. If someone is constantly tugging at your heartstrings in a way that makes you change your behavior, you are giving that person power over you. So don't give in. Stick to your word, speak up, and stay strong, no matter how hard someone may be trying to play with your emotions. Number two, someone's opinion of you is dictating your self-worth. Not everyone likes you, and some people won't be happy about the choices you make. But you shouldn't let other people's opinions affect the way that you feel about yourself. If the way that someone feels about you is making you feel bad about yourself, they ultimately have power over you. The same can be said if you let what someone says about you affect you. Number 3. Healthy boundaries are not established. You are in control of the people that you allow to be in your life. If you, therefore, have people in your life that you are resenting as they are taking up all of your energy, you may not be setting clear enough boundaries. Establishing emotional, financial, and physical boundaries is a must. Number 4. You find yourself complaining about things you need to do. You are in control of the way you spend your time. No one should be forcing you to attend a family event, to see the doctor, or to go to a job that you are not happy doing. Of course, there are times where there will be consequences for not turning up to an event or quitting your job, but at the end of the day, it's your choice what you do and where you go. Number 5. You tend to hold grudges. When you hold a grudge, it will wreak havoc on your life, but not on the person that you hold the grudge against. When you can't let things go and you hold on to anger from the past, the anger you hold is occupying space in your life that it shouldn't. That doesn't mean that you should or shouldn't let toxic people into your life, as sometimes they are there whether you like it or not. Simply don't waste your energy and mental resources on them. Number 6. Rejection has caused you to change your goals. If you give up on something after being rejected, this gives people the power to decide and determine your future and what you'll do with your life. Don't give up if you were turned down for a promotion or for the chance to collaborate in a project. You can succeed without the need for everyone to recognize your potential. Number 7. You spend time setting out to prove others wrong. If someone doubts you, you may be tempted to set out on a mission to prove them wrong. So make sure you don't waste time convincing people that you are better than what people give you credit for, and make sure that your purpose is to succeed. Number 8. You allow people to bring out the worst in you. There will always be people who have the ability to bring out the worst in you. Such people can provoke you to say things you later regret or to do things that are out of character for you. Do not let people have a negative effect over you and stay true to your values at all times. Number 9. You spend time talking about people you do not like. Every second that you spend complaining about someone or thinking about a person you don't like is a second wasted in time that you are giving to that person. When you constantly dwell on the people you don't like, you are actually giving them power over you and your mental health. Number 10. You constantly work hard in a bid to avoid criticism. 
When people offer feedback, it can help you become the best version of yourself. However, when you value this input too much, you may end up going to any length possible to avoid that person from criticizing you. If you are constantly focusing on how to please people, you won't enjoy life to the full. How to take back power. If you have noticed that you are losing your power, you are not the only one. Everyone does it at some point in their lives. However, the great news is that you can take back your power, and it's never too late to start. Commit to being the driving force in your life and not a passenger. Always try to stay in control of your behavior and the way you think and feel, and you will build back up that mental muscle you had started to lose that was preventing you from becoming the very best version of yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a new video since that's by far the best way to support the channel. See you in the next one.